Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast for August 5th through the 11th. I drew a blank here for a second. Um, we're continuing with our ocean theme and we have a new mermaid deck here, a lovely little mermaid deck that I have not used on the channel yet. So here we are, brand new debut. And after we look at these cards, I'm going to pull an angel, not an angel message, but like a spirit spirit message, spirit homework message for you um, for the week from a different deck. So stay tuned for that. Here's your Monday, Tuesday. Here's your Wednesday, Thursday, Libra. And here's your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, my lovelies. Let's get right in it. So Monday, Tuesday, Libra, you have self-confidence i think this also came up uh for aquarius on their monday tuesday uh so some of you may have aquarius in your chart not necessarily but you might be kind of like watching your moon sign or rising sign right now if you're an aquarius um but self-confidence is coming for you libra on monday tuesday where you have this burst of energy you have this belief in yourself now we had that uh that that um new moon excuse me new moon in cat and leo uh last week right and so coming into this week now as you're coming into the week of august 5th that new moon affected people in different ways some people got very inspired and very full of like passion and and daydreams and like really like you know what they want like that that passion in their life and some people got very aggravated or agitated so chances are a lot of you libras really went to that place of like what you're dreaming about what you love what would really just kind of bring some pleasure and excitement and joy into your life and now you have this burst of belief in yourself where you're going to be able to go for it whatever you just kind of felt pulling at you last week coming into this week you're beginning to see that not only are you deserving of it but you're beginning to see that you can go and you can get it that you can make it happen that this can be an actual thing for you right so a lot of belief in yourself um i also feel this self-confidence is going into like you just seeing yourself physically in an improved way like you're just kind of oh I, I look kind of cute or I like this or I like that even things that before about you that maybe bothered you you're like oh no like like I, I kind of like it or it's charming or um you know it's okay because this other thing makes up for it or whatever it might be I feel like a lot of you are also getting into a lot of confidence where you're feeling really good about yourself both inside and out um there's also accomplishments that are coming your way in the beginning of the week a lot of you are having a chance to try something new or you've been stressed at work or just there's been some kind of hurdle and you're overcoming that that in the beginning of the week you're, you're accomplishing it and that's making you feel really good or really proud about yourself and it's giving you that momentum to keep going like I can do this I got this I'm gonna make this happen so lots of confidence lots of high energy coming in in the beginning of the week even though this card came up for another sign uh, beginning of the week for you guys Libra I do feel and I'm going to emphasize this I do feel for you guys there's also like this physical self-confidence element where you're just really like kind of like you know falling in love with yourself or, or or seeing how attractive you are um outside not just inside I'm just I for whatever reason I'm really feeling that kind of vibe with this card for Libras your I had the deck upside down, sorry. Um, your Wednesday, Thursday here is compassion, okay? So this is awesome, midweek. You guys are going to have a chance to, um, you know, kind of quash some difficulties or troubles that may have been happening uh, with people in your life because, not because necessarily uh, the situation is changing. I feel something is happening where your eyes are opening and you're seeing this person in a way where, um, like, 
you kind of feel bad for them. And, and not bad in the way, let me clarify, Libra, some of you are already going into the comments. I feel it right now. Some of you are already going in the comments about why you shouldn't feel bad for these terrible, horrible people that you know. I'm going to explain what I mean by feel bad for them. Uh, feel compassionate in, in this way. You're going to see that a, you know certain people that you're dealing with are either, and I'm not saying this in a mean way, I'm not saying this in a judgmental way, guys, but it is what it is, and we have to be honest. We have to be honest. A lot of you are dealing with people who are not very intelligent. They're not very smart. and Or um, they have not had a lot of wisdom that they've been able to gain in life. And so you're seeing them, you know, and, and like what what maybe in, in, a, in a meaner way, some people might call ignorant. You're seeing them like they don't know any better. They, they simply do not know any better. And I don't mean ignorant as like an insult. Like I'm not trying to put these people down because they can't help the experiences that they've had. And if they haven't woken up quite yet, they can't help that, right? But they're not spiritually awake or they're not alert or they don't have a lot of like life wisdom that they've been able to learn from past mistakes. And they're just a little bit behind and so as a result they might treat you in a way or they might make demands of you in a way that's um unrealistic some of you i feel like you're waking up from this family obligation this heavy burden where maybe family or relatives in your life um it's been hard for you to get on your feet financially because like you've had these family obligations and I don't mean family obligations in terms of like your own kids like if you're a parent and you have children or if you're raising kids I don't mean it in that way I mean it more in the way of like you know like 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 parents or or you know aunts or cousins or whoever you all have come together to work together because maybe everybody's kind of having a tough time financially but for some of you it's been like you can't catch a, a breath of air like there's always something happening in some way where like you're not giving enough or they need more and something is happening where you're beginning to see like you know how they're shooting themselves in the foot and you're going to be able to draw this line you know you're going to be able to you know keep on to your little seahorse here and have have your pleasures and have what's yours but at the same time I feel like you're realizing that you cannot trust them to make these decisions and so you might be taking more of like an authority or more of like well this is how it's gonna be and let's look at the finances and this is what this is and this is what that is like you're helping them get an order of it you're helping them get like uh you know g getting it like structured um, and maybe before you would feel bad, like, man, these people are like pinching me for every penny. But then you're realizing that, you know what, like they don't really know any better or they're struggling, they're lost. They don't know where to go for help. They don't know how to handle their stuff. So they're kind of latching on to you. So you're going to be able to break out of that. Those of you who are dealing with that, but you're also going to be able to do it without feeling hurt or feeling bitter. Um, or feeling angry and this will happen in different ways for a lot of you it's not going to be financial for every single one of you but that came up for those of you who are dealing with a situation where you just seem like you can't come up for air because you know people are you know asking you for money or whatever uh, but Libra for other ones of you um, you are going to have a situation where say you know it could be somebody's been very critical of you or very jealous of you um, or just very hurtful in some way and you're beginning to realize that you know what this person is suffering like like you know how they say people who are hurt go on to hurt people and you're realizing this about certain people in your life now that doesn't make it okay it doesn't mean that you have to deal with it. It doesn't mean that you have to continue having these people around you. But you're letting go of the pain and the suffering that it causes you because you're realizing, you know what? This isn't about me. This is about them and their struggle. And I'm not going to take this personally and I'm not going to be hurt by this. And I'm going to, you know, I'll, I'll say a prayer for them that their guardian angels can help them wake up, that their guardian angels can guide them, can get them out of this funk or this difficult place. Okay, so compassion in that way, in that sense, some of you are having, I'm really excited for those of you who are going to experience this Libra, and then I'll move on to the next card. I know some of you are already in comments like, hurry up and move on already. That's okay. If you feel that way, I'm not for you. <laughs> but some of you, and I'm excited for you that are going to have this experience. Um, 
you're going to have this compassion towards yourself. Where in the past, you know, because remember, Monday, Tuesday, you have this burst of confidence. In the past, maybe you've been like super critical of yourself or super judgmental of yourself or really like kind of criticized yourself or nitpicked yourself. And you're like, oh, you should have been farther by now, Libra. Look, this is all you've done in your life. You should have done this. You should have done that by now. And you're realizing, hey, you know what? I had some stuff happen to me in my life where I didn't have the best examples or role models. And you know what? Like, there's a reason why I ended up where I ended up and I'm doing pretty good where I am and I'm going to just do better and I'm going to keep getting better. And so a lot of you are having this compassion towards yourself. You're overcoming a lot of that negative, critical self-talk in your head that in the past maybe really tore you down, okay? Uh, next is going to be... Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you have curiosity, all right? You know what I really love is this little oyster here um, with the with the pearl in it that's really shining. It made me think of, I don't know, it's not cliche, but that expression, the world is your oyster, right? And that's what it just kind of made me think of when I saw this picture. Um, this is not just curiosity. This is going hand in hand with that confidence that came in in the beginning of the week where you are ready to explore. You are ready to go out there and experience the world, experience life. I feel a lot of you are coming out of a time of like a long depression. Um, that came up for another sign too. I can't recall who it was. It may have been Capricorn. But um, I feel a lot of you are coming out of a, a time of like a long depression or a series of misfortunes that befell you. And now you're, you know, coming up for air like we were talking about and you're starting to feel confident and starting to feel like you can go after the things that make you happy. And it feels like the sky is the limit here. Like you can just basically have anything and so this curiosity you know some of you might be like oh I want to learn about this or I want to learn about that and some of you may be interested in like you know reading more about their different subjects or taking certain classes or picking up certain types of hobbies uh, but I feel some of you are just kind of like hmm I wonder what it would be like to you know um, you know, travel, or I wonder what it would be like to go move to a different country. And so some of you, your curiosity, what might begin as curiosity looking into something is going to end up becoming research. And before you know it, that research is going to end up becoming into steps and plans and actions, and things are happening for you over time. But in general, this curiosity to me is just like, you know, it might be playfulness, uh, and just, you know, wanting to explore really wanting to explore your options and you're getting out of those limited beliefs. So the things that you're exploring are, are, are very, very big that are going to lead to massive life changes, okay? Obviously, you might not have a massive life change come out of this curiosity, you know, where, where like you're curious Friday, you look into something by Saturday, and then by Sunday, you have this massive life change. Maybe for some of you, it could happen that, path, that fast. But for the majority of you, the curiosity stage where you're like curious and you're looking into things is happening that weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then it's going to lead to a really massive change or shift in the future. Um, I feel for the majority of you by the end of the year, in okay, case some of you it could be sooner, but um, you're really beginning to allow yourself to explore. And I just feel this playful energy, Libra, like you're just coming into this playfulness where you're like life doesn't have to be so hard all the time. You're coming out of that struggle um, mindset. Let's go ahead and take a look at your spirit message for the week, your spirit homework. And we are using yet another mermaid deck. I don't know if this is the first ever mermaid deck, but it's definitely one of the OG mermaid decks, okay? Like, we're going old school here with uh, the Doreen Virtue mermaid deck before she, you know, abandoned her cards. It's okay. She made some good cards. So we're going to see here what your message is for the week, Libra, what your homework is here for the week. All right, my darlings. Worthiness, hey. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. This is it. This is your reading in a nutshell, okay? So some of you are still, some of you are still in that 
lower energy where like you're beginning to hope but you still feel held back or you're like I can't imagine like this reading sounds amazing and somewhere deep down I know that I deserve it but I can't I just can't imagine that would ever happen for me some of you are still still in that energy other ones of you you're gonna feel that confidence coming in in the beginning of the week but it might come in waves where there's moments when you feel really low and there's moments that you feel really like you know confident and so this worthiness is going to be a continued thing to remind yourself of is that knowing that you deserve to receive good in all ways that compassion energy that's coming in for you in the middle of the week is going to be a good time to just really remind yourself of this to be compassionate towards yourself and nobody's perfect and we all make mistakes or missteps or whatever may have happened some of you might even be struggling because you feel very bad that you you did something to someone else that you're feeling bad about. Um, whether it's like, you know, um, you ghosted them or you, you know, feel like you took advantage in some way or you insulted them in some way and you're feeling like a bad person for having done that or vice versa. Maybe other people did those things to you and you're feeling bad that, oh, you know, they must like, I must not be a worthy person because if I was a worthy person, they wouldn't have done that to me. Whatever the case of, you know, however end, whichever end you're on in that situation, this worthiness is coming in again to remind you, remember how that compassion came up? That people did that because of their issue. Like, like we were saying, people who are hurt, hurt other people. So even if you're the person who you were the one that did the hurt, hurtful thing, you did it, chances are, because you're hurting in some way or you felt in some way that was the best thing to do in the situation or that was the best way you could think to handle the situation. So whatever the case, you know, just coming into this forgiveness, everybody makes mistakes. Life goes on, right? And you are worthy. You're worthy as you are. You're worthy, at, you know, and you deserve to receive whether you're the person who committed the wrong or whether you're the person who's been wronged. We're all, you know, children of God of the universe. We're deserving of unconditional love. We make mistakes. We wake up. We do better. That's life, you know, but you are worthy in this moment now to receive all of these blessings that are coming in and all of these positive changes. And I'm excited for you, Libra. Uh, don't forget to watch your moon sign and rising sign video as well, because some weeks are going to resonate with you more than others those of you who want more love life and romance readings those of you who don't know i do that separate on my channel so if you click on the uh description there's a link in the description of the video so i'll take you to the love love readings for august you can definitely check that out if you haven't already and as always guys obviously i love reading for you uh, personally so if you want a private reading go ahead and click on the Calendly link. And I revised the listings, guys, so the pricing is more clear now. Some people were getting a little bit confused, but hopefully this has solved it and you won't be confused and you'll be able to go ahead and schedule those um, easier by you know being able to see the, the pricing a little bit more clearly. I thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead.